Alrighty, welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and this time we're going to make a drink called a smoked cherry. I don't know if it's an actual thing or not. I kind of just thought things through and came up with a recipe. Never tried it before, have no idea if it's going to be good or not. Um, so, this is going to be an experiment for everybody, and uh, if it is a thing, well, sorry if I messed it up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mix um, a little bit of Evan Williams Green Label. <clears throat> Not a whole lot. Uh, just a smidge. Um, and then we're going to take that and we're going to mix it with Clan McGregor Scotch. Now, if you remember before, I said that I got a little hint of smoke in here. Um, just the slightest bit. Uh, if this wasn't a budget drink, I'd say use an Isla Scotch, something that's peated. Um, I don't know how crazy I would go, and I definitely wouldn't use something that's super expensive, but um, something to try. I'm going to go with this Klein McGregor. It has a little bit of smoke in there that I could pick out, or if you got a whiskey that has a pretty heavy barrel char to it, um, <clears throat> you can give that a try. So, there we go. We got cherry flavor from Evan Williams, and smoke from the Clan McGregor. Yep, that's going to work out good. Okay, so, the characteristics we wanted are being found in there. Next. We're going to take a Maraschino Cherry. Uh, I think this would work better if you had um, different cherries. If you had like a brandy cherry or something. Something that wasn't these fake red cherries. But um, we're going to put one cherry and a little bit of cherry juice in there. So instead of using the Evan Williams to get that cherry flavor in there, um, we're really going to use this maraschino cherry because it has that syrup and sugar quality in the um, juice it's going to bring out some of those other flavors in there that's why we didn't go very heavy on the Evan Williams but the Evan Williams also brings a bit of that corn dust in there along with that medicinal cherry medicinal cherry being that um, there's no other way to describe it other than like cherry cough drop kind of a flavor uh, it, it's not it's a different type of cherry and so that's going to blend together with the Maraschino cherry, in theory. Again, I haven't actually tried this one, so we'll see how this works out. And we're just kind of going off the rails anyway, so we'll see what we can come up with here. It's actually not bad. But, I think it needs a little more sweet. Um, looking at my notes here. Yeah. I might need a little bit of simple syrup or something, but uh, I think instead of that, we're just going to add just a pinch more cherry juice. It just needs a little more sweet to make, make some of those background flavors pop. Right now, it's um, it's alcohol forward, and uh, I don't think that that's really what I want. I want to go go a different direction with it, and since it's just alcohol in here, it's going to take a little bit to break through that wall. I think so. Boom! We hit it out of the park on that one. There we go. So. You know, maybe like two and a half, probably two full tablespoons full of maraschino cherry juice. One cherry. Um, and we're going to say it was probably, again, three to one. So like one part uh, Evan Williams Green Label to three parts Clan McGregor Scotch. Put it all together, mix it up, and you'll find that you got something that has... A hint of sweet, but it's not overpowering in the sweet category. The scotch comes through, the maltiness comes through, has uh, an ethanol bite in the middle of it. Uh, 
You get some corn dust in there from that Evan Williams. It's a very well-rounded drink. I highly recommend it. I think it will get better as the ice melts a little bit. Kind of blends it all away with some water. Excellent drink. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you got a variation on there, that'd be good. This might also be good by putting a little bit of orange into it. Um, and then you kind of lean towards an old-fashioned slightly, uh, but definitely different. Um, but all those drinks kind of all have similar profiles, and I guess this would be kind of similar to that. So, uh, give it a try, and, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say about this one. Something simple, quick, easy, and, uh, easy drink it. So, hope you enjoy it. Please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking, what you're doing, what you're trying, some experiments you've done, uh, what you're drinking these days. Just pretty much anything like that. If you have any other general comments about the channel, let me know. I'm always looking to improve what I'm doing. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you very much.